when I'm looking at my indicator completes here, we're doing some things that I didn't even know were possible. We were looking at this full sun trial from last year. You could see down to the line where these plants were affected from last year's foliar spray. It's pretty astronomical. So anything that I would want to increase we increased. So we increased the slam, the amino acid pool in that soil by 58%. We increased the biological activity by 22.5%. We increased the inorganic N by 50%. The phosphorus, the malic phosphorus by 110%. It's mind blowing. We even increased the potassium by 80%. Why did that happen? It happened simply because that plant was so happy that it created so much extra sugar in the exudation form that it stimulated biology and build the carbon bank. When you build that carbon bank, ultimately what's happening is that system is driving deeper into the season. So then in your off season, you can mineralize and create more free fertility. We've talked about it in the past. What's it there to do? It's supposed to influence the amount of sunlight that that plant captures and then can turn into liquefied sugar. If we stimulate this crop, what we actually get is potential yield that year because we create a bigger root system we create more free fertility for that plant because again, you're creating that association. But what we haven't talked about in the past is how it can potentially influence the next year's crop. Well, I could actually see the difference in the plants from 50 yards away. I could see that ridge where the plants, we saw an increase in the robustness of the size. And then you walk out there into the field and, and you see that more robust, healthy, larger plant. And those beans are planted on twin row 38s there, and you could just see how much closer they were to closing the row. You could see the two twin rows, instead of being uh, shaped like this, you could see they had canopied over and they were as if they were one, one row. So we could see the physiological changes uh, that we knew that could only come from the previous year's application of full sun. We're always worried about the wind rates from last year and, and how did it ROI from the year before. But I'm looking at how does this ROI two, three, four years from now. You know, it has to be a continuing effect for me or, or this is not a viable option. An application of a foliar to last year's corn crop potentially changes the profitability of the soybeans this year. I'm probably the biggest skeptic in here and I know I'm the, probably the cheapest person in there. I've got to make something pay. I don't spray for nothing. If we're able to do that based off the soil and tissue and know that we're getting nutrients into the plant, know that we're getting sugars pumping up through that plant, through our vascular system, I don't know that it gets a whole lot better than that. For someone that's not using full sun right now, my recommendation would be just give it a try. I think you would be shocked at the results over time. Healthy plants make healthy soil.